In this video of LinkedIn marketing course, I'm going to teach you how to create an event on LinkedIn. Yes, guys, creating an event on LinkedIn is very important and sometimes it is very useful for your business or for your personal profile as well. Now, what are the benefits of creating a LinkedIn event? Basically, what are the uh, benefits? How or why you should create events on LinkedIn? So the first point is basically um, I've added some uses of LinkedIn events. So you can conduct webinars, you can conduct online meets on the LinkedIn platform itself. You can even conduct a physical meets as well. Right. You can create a notification about the event on your LinkedIn and this that can be sent to your users or to your all the connections which you have in your LinkedIn profile or in your business page. Right. Now, let's directly jump into the LinkedIn platform and learn how to create an event on LinkedIn. Guys, as you can see right now, I am in my LinkedIn profile. This is my LinkedIn profile. If I click on home section, I'll be able to jump into the home section over here and here now once you are in your profile you will be able to see an event option in start a post option where you can post anything like uh, your content or whatever you want to post you can post an event as well you just need to click here and here it is showing that create an event now we need to create an event we need to fill in all these details the first option is obviously you need to upload a cover image for this event and the size is 16 ratio 9 which is the recommended one and the width you can use is 480 pixels right so if i click on this my fa file manager will open and right now i don't have the perfect size but i'm choosing this thumbnail let's choose this thumbnail just to show you the demo as you can see oops let me click again let me click here and then here and now as you can see there's some space left at the top and the bottom of this banner because this is not the perfect size but let's use this one now if you want to add the alt text of this image basically you can explain that what is this image is about so that the image can be SEO friendly as well. Then here, if you want to do some editing in this image, you can do that as well. Here you can zoom in like this, right? Mm -hmm. So let me just zoom in so that it can be fitted in the uh, banner size, right? As you can see, like this. Now hit the apply button and the editing will be done. Now here we do, we need to add other informations as well here you can set the organizer right now this is the organization uh, sorry the organizer is my own profile my personal profile but if you want to change the organization organizer sorry for that if you want to change the organizer you can change it to your business page as well it depends on you whatever the organizer you want to choose then the event type it is online or offline offline basically the in-person event right so if it is an offline event, you can select this. And if it is the online event, you can select this, right? It is totally up to you. Now here you need to add the event name. So let's add the event name MF Digital Meet. This is the event name I've added over here. Then you can select the time zone, whatever the time zone you want to select in which country or the zone or the whatever the time zone you want to select, you can select from here there's not an issue right it depends on you and your audience now the start date and the start timing so the start date will be 6th of october 2023 and the start timing will be 2 pm is fine okay so the end date is 6th of october itself and the end timing is 3 pm if it is one hour event and if i want to change it i can change it as well now if you want to remove the end date and time you can remove that as well it is totally up to you let's say if the ending time of the event is not decided right it can stretch up to two hours or three hours in that case you can just remove the ending time then here you need to add the external event link so it is an online event so you can add the link of your zoom meet or whatever the me uh, software you are using third party software you can add that link over here 
let's say if just to give an example i'm adding the marketingfundas.com website right but the thing is here you need to add the link of the meet first you need to go to your zoom zoom application or if you use google meet you can uh, use that as well and tons of other softwares are there in the market right so what you need to do is you have to go to those softwares and create a meeting set the timings and get a link and paste it here so that your users can directly join that meet by clicking on the link from the event notification page itself right now here you can select use a linkedin registration form if you want to use a linkedin registration form you need to add the privacy policy link because if you are using a registration form obviously you need some details like name number contact details right and all so for that if you are gathering contact details from your users from your audience you need to add the privacy policy page basically privacy policies detail so what you can do is in this case if you are using this registration form you can go to your website in my case it is marketingfundas.com scroll a little bit down you might have added the privacy policy page in your website as well so what you can do is you can just copy that page link copy it and you can paste it here this will work fine right so whenever you are uh, gathering some information contact details you need to add the privacy details privacy policy details but right now we are not using it so i'm just turning this option off now here you need to explain or describe about the event what is this event is all about so it is a digital sorry it is a normal meet of world's best digital marketers like this you can add some extra details and all demo 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 i'm adding just like this right then here you can add the speakers as well let's say uh if i am the speaker what will i do i'll select this profile if someone else like uh let me select if this person is also the speaker i'm adding this one if we do have multiple speakers i just need to select those speakers by searching their name and one more thing those speakers should be in your connection list right so keep this thing in mind so once everything is done about the uh, event details you just need to hit the next button here you need to add the caption or the content you want to add in your notification page basically notification details and this is how your event notification will look like or event post will look like right all the uh, uh, details are here like the name of the event and who is organizing the event and whether it is offline or online and if the user clicks on this button they will be able to see all the details about the landing page sorry about the event right now here i am again adding some details like digital meet digital marketing even you can add the hashtags as well digital marketing like this right marketing fundas once you are done with your caption and all just hit the post button and your event will be posted on your profile or on your business page right whenever you are creating uh, sorry wherever you are creating your post as you can see it it has been posted now what you can do is you can invite your users invite your connections from here itself you just need to hit the invite button and you will be able to select the contacts and you can send them an invitation right just hit the invite button and this will send an invitation to the users or the connections right now i'm not sending it because this is just a demo event this is not a real event right and this is how your event is looking like i hope you got the point i hope you understood the process how you can create an event how you can uh, create 
or conduct webinar whether it is online or if it's if it is offline event you can do that as well through linkedin software so let's wrap up this video here if you like this video don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button we'll meet you in the next video till then bye bye